Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you might be looking at the title of this video, you might think like, is this channel and it's Eras Eras too? Because I'm kind of all over the place with the videos I've been making lately. But as I was looking back on all the albums I've done recently, I've done Red's Taylor's version, I've done Evermore, Folklore, and Midnight's. And throughout those albums, oh, and Reputation, I'm sorry. Um, and out of all of those, as I've gotten better with my series, I think I do try to get all of the content out of the songs that I listen to. And looking back, I realized that I never watched the Cardigan music video, so I figured I definitely needed to go back and watch that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And while looking for the music video, I also found that there was an original version of the song, so I'm also going to listen to that today. So let's just get started. This is the first time I like know the music with it. Such a vast difference than some of the last music videos I've watched from her. Just seeing her back in this folklore era definitely reminds me that this is one of my favorite albums by her. Black lipstick, sensual politics. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. But I knew you dancing in your Levi's, drunk under a street light. Okay, so the piano is like a magic portal. Was I not caught again under someone's bed? You put me on and said I was your favorite. Is that maybe like music is a journey or it takes you on a journey when you listen to music and like you're imagining these scenarios or these like beautiful worlds? Or maybe it's just like the music video theme. I really like the waterfall piano. That's so cool. But I knew you playing hide and seek and giving me a weekend. I, I knew you, your heartbeat on the high line once in 20 lifetimes. I, and when I felt like I was caught again under some. Two things I like about it so far is that it's in the woods and that's quite literally all you think about when you think about folklore in general. But then also, I don't know why I keep getting stuck on the thing about music takes you on a journey that I just mentioned, but I have to remember that this came out like right in the middle of the pandemic. So if you had this like idea of like being transported to new worlds when you're stuck in your house, it kind of makes me think that this is taking her on this journey even though like everyone was kind of locked in their houses. I don't know if it has really any relation to that, but that's kind of the mindset that I think of. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, someone told me when I did my Willow video that the Willow music video was somehow connected to this one, and I can totally see that now because I think she traveled through the piano at the beginning of Willow, if I remember right. really cool practical effect or I don't know it looks like an actual real piano I mean obviously she's not in the ocean that's definitely like a swimming pool but that looks really nice I 
have I had this song wrong the whole time? Like I did this series a couple months ago and without the context of the music video, I always thought Cardigan was about a person making you feel safe and like just wanting you in their life. But I don't see this being about a person with this video context. And I know the videos don't always have to be exactly the same as the song, but with this, it almost seems like the cardigan is music or her piano kind of where like that she feels comfortable and safe when she's with her music. Um, then again, I don't know if that's really right because she doesn't look very safe right now, but maybe this is more about the feeling about her making music rather than a person, but I don't know. Let me know if you know. Let's get out of the ocean. Wait, okay, I'm having a big brain moment. So, if Cardigan and Willow are actually connected, Cardigan is now to me about her, Cardigan to me now is about her music and how that made her feel safe and that's kind of all she needed. But then Willow, if I remember right, ended with her with a guy in that same or similar looking room. And the whole Willow video was her chasing a guy and, or chasing a guy throughout and chasing a guy throughout a journey. So maybe Willow is a continuation of that, is like she finally found someone that made her feel the same way that her music makes her feel. Like Cardigan makes her feel safe and all of that, but then Willow is like, that's that's my man taking my hand. Like it's, it's just like she found love outside of just herself and her music. Maybe I'm reaching, but let me make sure that the Willow video did end with that because I'm pretty sure it did. Oh, and it starts with her, like how it looked at the end of the video. So they're definitely connected, but. Okay, yeah, that's my theory. Cardigan's about the music. This is about a person. I still wish Folklore had a little bit more content. I know it had a whole concert movie, but I would have loved to see more videos from this era, just to see like how she would like visualize some of those songs, especially Peace, but. I'll leave it at that. Um, now let's get into the second part of the video, which will be like the original version of Cardigan. I don't know how different it actually is, but apparently there's a side-by-side -side in this video, so shout out to that person, but let's just watch it. So the other lyrics was, but I knew you living in a gold age, sneaking into my bird cage. I knew you laughing like a damn fool, breaking every damn rule. Okay, I will definitely say that I like um, your heartbeat on Highline once in 20 lifetimes a lot better than this old version because rhyming damn with damn isn't as great to me. But I do really like the first change up lyrics, living in your gold age, sneaking into a bird cage. Coming off of the Reputation album, I feel like she does describe a golden cage a lot. She did in uh, the, the Look What You Made Me Do video, and when we were talking about that video, a lot of you guys told me that's how she felt, like, trapped in this, like, celebrity status or in this situation where, like, everyone's watching her all the time and, like, it's a prison, but you paint it gold because she's privileged in a lot of ways, but she still feels like a prisoner sometimes. So living in a gold age, sneaking in my birdcage makes me think that this person, again, willing to risk it all by being in that birdcage with her and be under the same scrutiny that she was used to. I 
think I like the I think I like the regular version of that better. Okay, I feel like that's actually low-key a major change because Peter losing Wendy sounds like it was a situation outside of both of their control. Like it was almost like a mutual thing where it just had to end. Peter leaving Wendy puts the blame a little bit more on Peter. So I don't really know how that changed exactly the inflections of the song, but I feel like it could definitely, I feel like you guys will probably know how this drastically changes that. That one was a little bit gibberishy, and I wouldn't have liked as much of going back into the chorus because we get a lot of the chorus. So definitely points to the original version. So I don't know how this was released, but this reminds me a lot of like the making of a song, right? We're seeing like the original version and then the polished version, and a lot of the polished version is obviously going to be better, but it's still just so interesting to see of like how it transformed. Okay, that was actually a drastic change. Original said, I knew I'd curse you for the longest time, chasing shadows in the grocery line. I knew you'd miss me once the thrill expired and you'd be standing in your and you'd be standing in my front porch light. I knew I'd curse you for the longest time. I knew you wished you'd change your mind. I knew you missed me once the moment died. And I knew to love and I knew to love would be to lose my mind. Wow, okay. I always really liked the grocery line, so I don't think I would maybe change that one, but the lyric, I knew to love would lose my mind is so much more heartbreaking than about standing in your front porch light. Because front porch light makes me think like the person's coming back, obviously, and I knew to love would make me lose my mind. It's like, you're going over every single thing. You're going back and processing like, what could I have changed? What, what made this end or what made this perfect? Like, how did I, get this perfect formula of this relationship. And I think actually I would have liked that lyric a little bit more, to be honest. But but again, I think a lot of these change the inflections of the song so I can understand why things were changed. But I really like that version better, to be honest. That was the folklore music video in the original version. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you have any perspective on the original version of the song. But thank you again, and I'll see you in our next video.